What's good, y'all? It's your boy Cody Got Five back with Only For Us TV here, and I got another exclusive for y'all today. Now, scrolling through the uh, YouTube algorithms, and I uh, came across an interesting clip. I came across Bow Wow, you heard? And Bow Wow's giving his um his sorrows, you know what I mean? He's telling his complaints and all that to uh, Math Hoffa and uh, uh, my expert opinion crew. And they asked him, like, where did he go wrong with uh, JD? Where did his relationship with JD sour at? And he basically said that uh, JD um, basically was holding him back and he want to grow and spread his wings and do his thing. But JD always telling him, oh, no, it's not the right time. It's not the right time. Every time he thinks that he's um, he got the, some ideas, every time, every time he thinks he's about to cook up something good, he's about to... Uh, spread his wings and do his own thing type shit and make his brand even bigger or whatever in his opinion uh jd comes in and be like nah this is not the right time you uh you you can't do this right now you dig he's like the big father holding him back type shit and he feels that's wrong you dig and he says nelly who's like a, a big bro to him he uh set up a mediation uh meeting where they could uh tell her griefs you know what i mean uh let each other know how each other feels and all of that. And Bow Wow basically explained to JD. He sat him down and he explained to JD, like, yo, you like Star Wars? The best way I could explain this to you is, like, you are uh, Obi-Wan and I'm Anakin. Bow Wow says that every time he wants the knowledge, he want to learn, he want to uh, spread his wings, he want to do his thing, uh, JD comes along and be like, nah, it's not the right time, son. It's not the right time. And he's getting sick of it. And all that frustration just built up over time. He just couldn't, he couldn't take it anymore. He also says they're both the same. Like they have the same, uh, the same mindset. They're both competitive. They both got the same drive. They both stubborn. And Bow Wow says that he learned from uh, JD. He learned from JD. He learned from uh, Birdman. He learned from Snoop Dogg. He learned from a lot of guys. And he expects JD to give him all the knowledge. So when he comes to JD for um, some information and guidance and all that, JD acts like he don't know what he's talking about. He acts like he doesn't he doesn't uh, know any information type shit. Basically trying to keep Bow Wow at a certain level and Bow Wow is not feeling that. But I'm going to play the clip of uh, Bow Wow explaining how he feels about JD, where he went wrong with the situation. And tell me how y'all feel about this. You heard? Like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to run it up. Fell out with JD, huh? Yeah, too okay. many times. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, the it's to the point now, it's like, it's just normal. What is it over? The first time. The, the first time is always like, it always is, honestly. It's, you know, the best way, and I explained it to him recently, because we spoke recently, I pulled up on him. And, uh, and I-, yeah, I some, not, Somehow he knew you was coming here. He did? Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, That's he knew good. he was coming in. Yeah, he should. He should. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I sent him a message. I saw his Breakfast Club interview, and I was like, yo, bro. You know, just, I sent him a DM. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, bro, just, we made a pact not to even bring, like, even talk about each other, period. Like, just, you know, promo tour, you should just, every interview, every clickbait, it's bow out here, dress is bow Bro, we're about the album, like focus on the project that it does. He's like, nah, it's all good. And I'm still holding my word and not speak on you know what I mean? But they asked. It's not like I brought you up. They asked me. So I'm like, all right, whatever. But the best way to explain it without going way too deep into it is um, and I told him this because we had a real talk recently. Like well, last last month, I think I pulled up to the studio and you know, Nelly was trying to, you know, Nelly had to be there to be the mediator. I was like, I'll come inside if you there. Like you gotta be there. Hmm. You gotta be right in the middle of this. JD got hands? I wouldn't. Oh, God. <laughs> but, but, you know, Nelly's like a, like a, like an uncle, like, like a big brother. I put uncle as the, right. Nelly is like the big bro. So I walk in and pretty much like I told JD to his face, I'm like, bro, this, this, we, you like Star Wars so much, right? Like that's JD big on Star Wars. I'm like, that's who he is. You Obi-Wan and I'm Anakin. That's all it is. It's, that's the relationship. You know, I'm the young dude who wanted all the info. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. It's no about it. Man, JD, man, let me, hey, look, I got this idea. Hey, what about we? No, about wow. That's how Anakin was. Obi was a teacher. Anakin was a student. When Anakin wanted to go out there and get it, get it cracking, Anakin knew I'm one of them. 
Just let me go do it. No, Anakin, stand back. You're not ready. It's like, damn, right. big homie, like, let me. So that's the whole thing. It's like, we're, we're, we're the same. Very competitive. I'm smart because I learned from you. Could potentially be even smarter because I had three who I learned this shit from. You mm. had no one who you learned this shit from. So I learned from you. I learned from Snoop. I've learned from Puff. I've learned from Birdman. I've, like, like, listen sometimes. You know what I mean? But right. JD is stubborn, though. Like, if you know him, you know he's stubborn, and I can be too. But we just, we the same. It's like, that's the relationship. And I, I told him that to his face. It's like Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's, that's, that's it. So who's right and who's